Welcome to the Tenally Team Podcast. I'm your host, Kira Dent, and I have this crazy idea that maybe I could combine a doctor and a team member's perspective, because let's face it, dentistry can be a challenging profession with those two perspectives. I've been a dental assistant, treatment coordinator, scheduler, filler, office manager, regional manager, practice owner, and I have a team of traveling consultants where we have traveled to over 165 different offices coaching teams. Yep, we don't just understand you, we are you. Our mission is to positively impact the world of dental, and I believe that this podcast is the greatest way I can help elevate teams, grow VIP experiences, reduce stress, and create A-teams. Welcome to the Dental A-Team Podcast. Hello, Dental A-Team listeners. This is Kira, and you guys, today I'm driving to an office. It's been super fun to be back on the road. I, I forgot how much I love this. This is what I believe I truly was made to do. It's been fun to inspire offices to to tickle their brains and help them think in ways they didn't think were possible. And it's just been, it's been really, really fun. Um, something, though, I'm realizing is the power of routines and consistency. And so I want you guys to look at your practice, look at your personal life, look at your professional life, and let's look at where the routines are and what routines are serving you versus what routines are not serving you. So when I used to travel a lot more than I currently do now, my life used to feel very chaotic. I never knew. I was always in different time zones. I didn't know what city I was in. I didn't know where there would be food. I mean, basic necessities, food, shelter, um, those things I didn't really know where they would be. Um, and so I had to, I had to, I had to find something that I could sink my teeth into that could be a security for me that would allow me to feel some sort of consistency in my life. And that's when I really developed a morning routine. So I've, I've shared you guys my morning routine, pop on another podcast. I'm not going to, I'm not going to dive into that today. Um, but then when I was at home, I feel like I'm, I have two different jobs, you guys, and I'm sure a lot of you feel that way too. I've got when I'm consulting on the road, and then I have my home life working on the business consulting virtually. So two very different worlds for me. They have different hours. I mean, when I go to a dental office, I have to be there at certain times. I've got to be up at a certain time. I'm in different time zones. I don't know the traffic. So it's a really different world for me. Whereas back home, um, I'm living at my house with my spouse and all these different things. And, and what I found is coming back on the road, I flipped right back into my morning routine. It became a habit and I have so much more clarity and I'm focused every single day. And, but also I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing when I go into consult. No, I don't know every office. I don't know what they're going to have, but I've got a pretty good rhythm when I go into a practice. Just like you guys, when you are being a dental assistant or an office manager and you have your day-to-day job, that's, that's easier per se. However, when I'm at home working on the business, that's hard. And I'm not as consistent with my routine because I don't really know what that job is. I don't know how to run a consulting business, guys. I mean, I've done it for three and a half years, but the next level of consulting, I'm not sure what that is. And I'm constantly trying to figure it out and, you know, talking with sponsors and figuring out what our clients really, really need versus what I think they need. And so I wanted to work through this of, of what do you guys do when you're stuck. Like as office managers, yes, I I was talking to an office manager this past week and she said, you know, Kira, I was always a treatment coordinator, a really good treatment coordinator. And now I'm being pulled from the front and that way I have more time to manage. But what am I supposed to do during that time? So I kind of wanted to walk you guys through this. This is where I got your job. I got you guys. Uh, Mine's a little trickier, but let's, let's walk you through. So office managers that are that have admin time, I definitely recommend you have some admin time every single week. So you're pulled from the front and you have some uninterrupted time. And during that time, what I recommend you work on is where you deep dive into all those important projects that you quote unquote never have time for. Um, the ones that we really don't want to do because they're the hard projects, those are the projects for us to work on. So uh, with that, what that means is like diving into the AR, look at your accounts receivable and um, your aging report and check to see where are claims on insurance. Really dive deep. So maybe you're going to spot audit. You're going to spot audit seven accounts or 10 accounts, and you just have pretty much a checklist of what you're going to do during that time. You're also going to go be a fly on the wall and listen to exams, listen to handoffs, listen to how your team is treatment planning when you're not sitting right there. Listen to, listen to how we're answering the phone. 
maybe call your office and listen to how they answer the phone. If you have a tracking, a tracking system on your phones, you could listen to those phone calls during that admin time to see how your team's doing. You can do one-on-one interviews with your team members. I don't like interviews. Let's call it a one-on-one check-in with your team members. These are the things that you're going to be doing in your practice during this admin time. Um, or or when you're when you're working on the business, not in the business. It's very easy, I feel, to work in the business. Because when we're working in the business, we, like, those are things that are coming at you. You're not going to miss... Like the phone is always ringing, so you won't miss that. Maybe you do. Hopefully you don't. Um, When I'm in offices and they don't answer by the second ring, I get panicky. I'm like, stop talking to me and answer that phone. I'm stressed out of my mind. Um, But we have the answering. Your your phone's going to come. Patients are going to come in. Patients are going to check out. Those things are urgent and they're constantly happening. So you're not going to miss those things. But the things we do miss are the quiet sleepers is what I like to think of them as. The quiet sleepers. So for doctors, similarly, uh, I hate doing this. I'm not going to lie to you. But reviewing your P&L, like actually looking through everything, looking at your credit card charges, I would realize that my merchant fees are sky high by switching a different merchant. I'm going to save thousands. Yes, you heard right. Thousands. I'm, I'm looking at about $10,000 a year just by changing my credit card merchant. But that's diving into my numbers. It's also looking at the systems review. So office managers and doctors looking at your systems review. How is your new patient experience? Like let's walk through every single checkpoint and how does that work? Are we getting the results we're looking for or do we not? Uh, what about going through your, your checklist? Your checklist, are they actually reporting in the information you want to know? And if not, we need to change those up during that, that business working time. Um, other things to do during that time of working on the business for either doctors or OMs, I really do love listening to treatment plans, um, listening to exams, docs, go listen to your associates while you're not prepping in the chair, working on your exams as well. Maybe you record some exams just on your iPhone, keep it HIPAA compliant. Don't share this with anyone. Um, but working on your, listening to your exams to see it's just one or two word changes can actually close your case acceptance. What about teeing up your hygiene team so that way your hygiene team can tee up treatment for you better? That's something working on the business. Um, looking at the ROI of your marketing. That's a huge area. So office managers, you could look to see what are we spending and, and what, what was our return on that? Making sure we're tracking all those new patient referrals. What about tracking our case acceptance and going to look to see which cases aren't closing? Doctors, you could go look at a treatment tracker as well. Look to see which cases aren't closing consistently um, and see if there's a pattern in your exam, if there's a pattern with a hygienist, if there's a pattern with the treatment coordinator to sit, figure out where that pattern and breakdown is. Those are those small degree notches and turnups that really will make your business more profitable. And so many people don't want to do this because this feels like the scary zone. This feels like the zone of, you know, you you don't want to do it. It's the hard work. But these are the these are the little dial changes that make you so successful. These are the dial changes that that will help you substantially grow your practice and and also help you do less and create more as a practice. Are you guys sick of trying to figure it out on your own? I know I am. When I'm trying to run a business, sometimes I just think like, there's got to be a better way to do this. And so for me, my answer has been to find someone who's done it and does it really, really, really well. Like I'm talking the best of the best of the best. I want someone who's been in my shoes, somebody who understands what I'm going through. When I was looking for the consulting business, I found a coach who literally has run a consulting business. Well, that seems like the perfect fit. So you guys, right now, we have a few spaces open in our Platinum Consulting. That is in the consulting where we actually come to your practice. We help you get systems implemented. We don't just tell you what systems to implement. We actually implement them with you and for you. You guys, it is one of the best investments I have ever made is to hire a coach who understands the business I'm in, who's lived it, who's done it. And that's what we in the Dentally team do. We literally physically fly to you. So if you're sick of trying to figure it out on your own, if you just want somebody who understands you, join our Platinum. I'd love to have you. I'd love to have our consulting team come out and see you, be in your office, be with your team, and truly help you get onto the easy path of dentistry. 
It doesn't have to be hard. So join us in the Platinum. We'd love to have you. So with that said, a lot of this is, gosh, it's just the little small pieces that are going to change and make your life easier and simpler. But because they're quote unquote hard, or we don't know how to do it, or they're not the fun things. They're not the things that, I mean, I'm not going to go tell my husband like, hey, guess what I did today? I went through my entire PL and I found all these different pieces that were missing. Like that's not, that's not something we're going to talk about. But what I will say is, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe it. We signed up a new client and I can't even wait their new platinum office and I can't even wait. Like that's exciting and figuring that out. That's exciting and that's fun. I have a gal in my office and she's really, really, really great with customers and clients and she loves it. She will call all day long. She will cold call people to see what kind of consulting or coaching they need. And yet, if we have to figure out like how to reduce, uh, you know, how to reduce a cost on something, she's like, oh, that just feels so hard and so long. That's okay. That's all of us have a zone that we don't enjoy doing. And those are the tasks. So often, um, I don't know if you guys have heard Uh, We just recently found a really cool organizer for tasks, for task management, and it is called ClickUp. ClickUp, um, it's a free app. It's great on the mobile. It's great on on your phone. It's great on your desktop as well. Either one is really fantastic. But I like to make ClickUp boards. ClickUp boards, um, it's really cool because it actually links to your Google Calendar and it also links to your email. So you get the notifications in two different places, which is what I love because I need accountability. Plus, it's really easy and it's it's color coded, which I'm a huge fan of. And I can also assign tasks to other people. So I have multiple boards for all my team member. So I've tried Trello. I've tried Basecamp. I've tried... Um, And I'll do another one where I talk about the different softwares and things that I liked or didn't like of each of them. So you can choose. People have Slack. People have WhatsApp. But ClickUp is my latest one that I found that I'm really, really obsessing on. If you want the paid version, it's $4 a month, um, which we just recently did to track all of our clients and services better. But what I do is I have a board in there that's kind of my, my big projects board. So that way, when I get my time, I have blocked admin time, which all of you should do. So doctors, you should have admin time where you're working on the business. Office managers, there should be admin time where you're working on the business. But oftentimes when we get in there, I remember asking some offices, what do you think you should be doing during admin time? And they said, oh, like answering our emails and getting back to all those patients. And I said, absolutely not. You're going to do those things when patients are filtering in and not. I said, what what we want you to do is we absolutely 100% want you to be working on those big projects. So for me, I get distracted easily and I forget easily. So I have a click up board of my tasks that I need to get done during that, during that really vital uninterrupted time. So reviewing the PNL is one and I have it on a monthly, (laughs) a monthly checklist. So I don't forget to do it. Um, Reviewing your systems and maybe you list off all your systems. So you check it off every single month when you reviewed them and then you have a report back of what you found and what we're going to change. And maybe you add that to your monthly meeting for your team. You have in there your AR. So you're deep diving on all these different accounts and spot auditing. Go pull some EOBs. Check to make sure that the payments were entered correctly. I don't I don't want to just make sure that our AR is low, but actually go spot check that the way we're entering, the way we're entering insurance is correct. Um, running through credit card charges, making sure we don't have refunds allowed for our credit cards checking your merchant fees, looking at your your lab fees and making sure that what you're actually paying is, is correct. I can't tell you how much money I saved through COVID when I went through our entire, all of our fixed expenses and I have a spreadsheet. So I'm constantly tracking them. I'm always looking at my receipts and I update every single month to make sure that what we're actually paying is what we're actually using. We were using G Suite and I had people on there that I was paying per month that were no longer in there. And I was like, well, we're just paying it. I hate paying pennies that I don't need to spend. It drives me nuts. So add those things to a board for, you know, and every month you need to get through these. Every quarter you need to get through these. I have a board for my quarterly meetings of things of issues we're going to discuss. I have my to-do for my daily dues. And then I also have a board for these bigger projects. So that way I don't forget to go through. It could be a monthly reoccurring or it could just be, I need to tackle this. I would recommend these big tackling items you do and you have on a set cadence. So that way you just, it becomes that routine and that rhythm. Similarly to what I was talking about, the very beginning of this was when we have a routine, it creates consistency and it creates security for us. 
So if you can have that security and that safety, something you can count on, like when I'm on the road, I know I can count on that. I'm more productive. I do. I. It's crazy. I get so much more done in my mornings. I can answer emails way faster because I have a consistency piece in a routine that I just fall right back into. So I'm rock solid. And that's what we want to build is creating a, a system and a routine that's consistent with that admin time of those bigger projects, getting them done. They might not be on repeat. It might be, we've got to figure out how to do our marketing. Well, fantastic. But that came because we're always assessing our marketing ROI. So really, really, really getting into those habits and that consistency and that routine. If you guys need help with that, you know that we do coaching calls. We do virtual meetings. I had an office reach out last night saying, hey, could we just get on a, a two-hour coaching where we deep dive into these things? Absolutely. Absolutely, guys. So please reach out. Don't hesitate. Um, if you want to do in-office, go the whole platinum. Let's do it. If you're like, hey, I just need some help on these specific areas. Amazing. We also help with that. What I would say is, you guys, you can be listening to this podcast, but it's not beneficial. Like As much as I love you listening, more than anything, I created this podcast so you would take action. So go take action. Figure out what you're going to change. This is your time. You guys, consistency, in my opinion, equals results. So what kind of results are you wanting and what are you willing to do to get there? All right, you guys. Thanks so much for listening. And I'll catch you next time on the Dental Team Podcast. Guess what's back, you guys? Women Dennis Connect. Yes, Dr. Summer Casimal and myself are putting on our first ever virtual event. We did it last year. We had raving fans and due to COVID-19, we decided we're going to continue on. So mark your calendars, November 13th and 14th, all women in dentistry. We don't care who you are. If you're a doctor, a treatment coordinator, scheduler, biller, office manager, spouse, we want all females to come with us to Women Dentists Connect. So pop on over to our website, womendentistconnect.com. Tickets are on sale right now. And we even did a thing where it's your entire team can actually come. We want all of you to come. It's going to be CE. We're going to talk about mom guilt, how to run a successful business. We're having an incredible speaker lineup with Dr. Mark Costas. He's our only male cameo. We're having Desiree Yazdan on social media marketing. Aaron Elliott, who's talking about um, sleep apnea. We're also bringing on Dr. Amanda Wilson to talk about ortho. And of course, Dr. Summer Casimal and myself will be there talking about how to hold your team accountable, how to run effective meetings. So don't wait. Get on over to womendentistconnect.com. I'll see you guys November 13th and 14th. And that wraps it up for another episode of the Dental Aid Team Podcast. Thank you so much for listening and we'll talk to you next time.